and Ghana is to give the United States of America unimpeded access to its territory and facilities following a defense agreement reached between the two countries. Now, the agreement is set to receive Parliament's ratification, but would grant the U.S. military and civilian personnel a wide range of privileges, tax exemptions, and immunities as those granted to administrative and technical staff of a diplomatic mission. Komla Kluche has the following report. On Tuesday, February 19, 2008, former U.S. President George Bush put to rest what was widely speculated as a military base in Ghana after Ghanaians expressed outrage. We do not contemplate adding new bases. In other words, the purpose of this is not to add military bases. I know there's rumors in Ghana all Bush is coming to do is try to convince you to put a big military base here. That, that's baloney. Cabinet at its 28th meeting on March 8, 2008 approved the agreement following which the Defense Minister Dominic Nito has since March 14, 2008 asked Parliament to give effect to the agreement. In the leaked confidential document, the United States contractors shall not be liable to pay tax or similar charge assets within Ghana in connection with this agreement is stated. Personnel of the U.S. military can also enter and exit Ghana with a wide range of documents including an identification card or individual travel orders. Per the agreement, the U.S. will use Ghana as a base to facilitate, among other things, training of its military, staging and deployment of U.S. forces aircraft, refueling and landing and recovery of aircraft. Ghana will be mandated to provide unimpeded access to and use of agreed facilities and areas to U.S. forces, contractors, and other staffs. This new agreement, TV3 Guarded, is a renewal of the commitment of both the U.S. and Ghana to an aspired agreement, the Acquisition and Cross-Servicing Agreement, which was entered into on April 28, 2015. It is intended to strengthen the defense relationship between the two countries and also to address shared security challenges in the African region, including those relating to the protection of government personnel and facilities. Government has confirmed the defense agreement exists between Ghana and the U.S., but will not confirm the authenticity of this document. Defense Minister Dominic Nito has denied the establishment of a military base in Ghana. The United States of America is not, and let me repeat, is not establishing a military base in Ghana at all, far from that. A military base, it is not true. And they do intend to establish a military base in Ghana. Security experts have already raised concerns on the implications this will bring to Ghana. Uh, it looks quite grim if the official don't comes to confirm that this agreement has been signed and sealed and dusted. Then we will have to interrogate and ask them why. Because I would say that uh, since independence, Ghana has really not fought any war. We have no country has invaded us and we have not invaded any country. And so I would be wondering uh, if, yes, we need to retool our military and get our military trained. But are we doing that, hoping that we will be able to fight off uh, another country when we are invaded? Or what are we doing that for? So we need to ask a lot of questions of our leaders. Ask them why uh, now? Why are we doing this? Is there a need? So we need to know. There has been terrorist activities in neighboring African countries and the deployment of forces here in Ghana, many say, will help fight. I do think that he is more visionary than, than some recent uh, Ghanaian leader. Already, President Kufuado, in his last visit to the U.S., pledged Ghana's support to the U.S. to fight terrorism. The confidence of the Americans in Ghana has been heightened. Ghana is considered a level one uh, threat for crime and for security broadly. Uh, on, on the scale of four, okay. um, so it's at the minimum level. I feel very safe here. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Accra.